Hey, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my October lip edit. I am so, so excited for this video because hashtag fall vibes. Um, super excited for fall. I know most of us are and I'm actually really excited to kind of go back into that little section of, of darker, muted, autumn, tony lipsticks. I'm gonna stop talking. Um, really excited to use a bunch of lipsticks that feel more like fall um, and fall lives uh, because they're sometimes darker, more muted, a little bit of burnt orange, a little bit of brown, you know? Um, obviously you can wear any kind of lipstick all throughout the year. It's not, it's not some sort of weird rule, but um, there are certain lipsticks that I just gravitate towards more when the air is getting cooler and the days are getting shorter and all of that. So I'm really excited to do this video. My first pick for this month's lip edit is Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution Lipstick in the color Very Victoria. Now this is from my latest Sephora Favorites lip kit video. It's the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some More Lip set and I will link that video right here. I did a full uh, first impressions and swatch video as well as a uh, wear test throughout the week. So this was one of the products in that set and um, loving this. I think it's just a beautiful color. I think it's a very a fall nude for me because it's a little bit darker on my skin tone, a little bit cooler, but still like a beigey pink. All my beigey pink nudes are very light and bright and almost like look like concealer lip vibes. But um, I like this because it stands out a little bit more. Obviously it's gonna look different on everyone, but this is what it looks like on me. And this is once again, very Victoria. My next pick for my lip edit is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the color Do Me Baby. Um, I love their suggestive, their suggestive names for their products and their colors because I just think it's so fun. Um, but I love this color. It's a very, I would say it's like a berry slash brick tone, reddish, dark, brownie kind of nude. I don't even know what to call this, but it's beautiful. Definitely has like muted brick red vibes and a little bit of um, a little berry in there. I think it's just very, very pretty. It reminds me a lot of Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl, and this is actually also from a previous Sephora Favorites set, and Bond Girl was also in that set, and I think those two are very similar, but I thought I would go for this one just because I don't think I reach for my NARS pencils enough, so I thought this was a good way to get some use out of this one. It's perfect for the holidays. It's great for every day. It's great for parties. It's great for whatever you're gonna be doing this season. Um, it's really comfortable. They are matte, so you can moisturize underneath or you can moisturize on top. You can do whatever you feel like is best, but I don't find that they're like annoyingly drying. They're definitely drying, but not not excessively so. Um, and I really, really, really like this. Not only the color, but the product, um, but I just, like I said, don't reach for my pencil. I feel like I don't reach for pencil products enough because I feel like sharpening them maybe is just a kind of a pain. Um, and they always just kind of get shooed to the back of my makeup closet, <laughs> my makeup closet, my little section of my cabinet in my bathroom with my makeup in it. <laughs> Let's get it straight. Uh, so I thought this would be a great way to get some use out of it. My next pick is Clinique's Chubby Stick Intense in the color Broadest Berry. Now this lip product I actually included in my 2019 Project Pan, and I will link that series right here if you haven't seen it. Um, and in the description below, you can watch that Project Pan series, see how I'm doing on finishing this. But uh, that's one reason why I picked it for this uh, this month's lip edit because I really wanna get more use out of it. I think it's a gorgeous color for fall. It's really moisturizing, very opaque, very comfortable and easy to reapply. It's a gorgeous berry shade with like slight hints of uh, slight brown undertones but definitely a purpley berry shade and I just find it really beautiful, really comfortable. Um, and I think like the whole like chapstick, like balm type of lip product is great for fall just cause it's less humid outside here and um, a little bit harder to keep your lips comfortable if you're wearing like drying matte lipsticks and whatnot um, being outside. And yeah, I don't have much to say about this other than I really like it and I think throughout this year and throughout using it in this project pan, it's really grown on me and I'm really excited to keep using it and hopefully finish it by the end of this year. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so right here. Um, I do a lip edit every single month with my favorite picks for the month and what lipsticks I'm gonna be using that month, so stick around. My next pick is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Trendsetter. This is actually also from a Sephora Favorites kit. I feel like most of my lipsticks these days are from those Sephora Favorites kits because I do so many of those videos and I, I love doing them. Uh, so I end up just amassing a ton of Sephora Favorites lipsticks. 
but this one I may or may not have decluttered. I did a makeup declutter earlier this year and I think I decluttered it and then went back and took it out because I don't have any colors like this. It's really, really unique. The only thing I can think of that I used to have that dried out that I'm still mad about is Smashbox Out Loud. Loved that one. That was like a really burnt orange color. This one's definitely more muted, has a lot more brown undertones, but still gives me a little bit of a burnt orange uh, feel without being too, um, too overpowering. It's a little bit more neutral and a little bit easier to wear than that Smashbox one, but I would say the, the formula is, is just worlds apart from that one. It's so much better. It's a lot more liquidy when you're putting it on, and I've learned it takes a little bit longer for this formula to dry. But once it dries, it sets. It's like there all day. It's a really great liquid lipstick and it's not too drying. Um, I think the general consensus is we've kind of moved away from liquid lipsticks a lot. I don't know, at least I have. And I hear a lot of people saying they have two um, just because they're not enjoying the drying flaky feeling of most liquid lipsticks. But this doesn't seem to be as drying as other liquid lipsticks in my experience at least. But what I do like about this is I can wear it inside. I don't really have to be like, outdoors for this. This might be more of like a, a holiday party or a Halloween party or something. Just like reaching for this where I have a special occasion versus wearing it all day because I just, I don't think I'm about wearing matte lipsticks all day, matte liquid lipsticks all day anymore. I think, I think I'm kind of over that trend, but love this color. I think it's so unique and I think the formula is absolutely incredible. So I'm definitely going to be reaching for this October and probably on into the net end of the year. Once again, this is Huda Beauty's liquid matte lipstick in the color Trendsetter. Last but definitely not least is surprisingly another lipstick from this Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip Set. I'm, I'm just done with myself, but this one is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Lipstick in the color Flamingo Acid. I think this is such a beautiful shade. This formula makes, first of all, makes your lips look so plush and velvety that I just cannot. Um, the color is a beautiful, rich, jewel tone berry. I, I just, I love this color. I think it's such a unique shade. The formula is really matte, so I wouldn't necessarily wear this on an everyday basis. It's definitely like the Huda Beauty lipstick where I would reach for it on certain occasions, maybe a nice night out or like a birthday dinner or something, just because it's a little bit more matte. It's not as comfortable for all day wear in my opinion, but it's beautiful and it lasts really, really well, even through greasy food and whatnot. Um, Really performs like a liquid lipstick, but is drying as well like a liquid lipstick. Um, I just think it's so beautiful, and I think if you have similar olive undertones like I do, then you might like this. Um, I don't really have much else to say about it, but I did also do swatches and a whole review of it in my Sephora Favorites video, so again, I'll link that in the description and wherever else I can, and you can go check that out for more in-depth review of this, but this is gonna be my fifth October lip edit pick. So these are all five of my picks. I'm really excited to use these um, and I will hopefully get some more use out of them. I think I love all of these products, but I think other than like the Very Victoria, I think the rest of these have been pretty neglected. At least the ones I've had for a while, like these three. These two are from recent sets, but these three have been pretty neglected. So I think this is a great way. And one of the reasons why I started this lip edit to use up lipsticks that I have sitting around. It's a great way to kind of pan, project pan lipsticks and declutter your items. So as a number six bonus lip product, I'm gonna talk about the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I have been using this nonstop and actually put this in my September favorites video, which I will link right here if you haven't seen it already, but loving this. So I'm gonna keep using it probably every single night it's in October, so I thought might as well just throw it into the October lip edit even though um, it's not technically a lipstick, it's a lip balm, but really loving this. It's really comfortable. It is great for moisturizing at night. You go to bed with it on, you wake up with super soft moisturized lips, or you can use it in the morning when you're getting ready and then kind of apply it, leave it on, and then kind of wipe it off before you put on your lip product. It really helps and it works as a great base for any kind of lip product. So I thought I would just throw this in because I'm really liking it and I know I'm gonna be using it the entire month of October. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my October lip edit. Comment below, let me know what lipsticks you're gonna be using this month if you're picking any specific ones out because I would love to know. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.